Early in the year, I decided to, to give our 76er team a chance to cool off for just a couple of minutes up in the dressing room before we allowed the press to come in. The tremendous feeling you have of coming back to that room with your own group, and looking at one another and knowing that you have done it, this moment was truly a moment of elation and tremendous pride. Uh, the real big celebrating, the yelling and screaming came later with uh, the reporters and the fans, but that moment, walking back to that dressing room, is one that I'll never forget. Soon the christening began. It was the biggest night in Chamberlain's career. Just ask Wilt how it felt. Actually, very, very tired. There's a long, long climb, so to speak, because you never can tell when the Celtics are dead. It's always good that you know they're finally out of the way. I really feel as though that this was the greatest Celtics team, so uh, in being this team, I think it helped to make up a little bit for the other losses that we had over the years. Chet Walker. It was something that all of the 76ers had been looking forward to a long time, and it finally happened. I had been in the league six years, and I'd been chasing Boston for, for all those six years. Billy Cunningham. This was the greatest thrill in my life to beat Boston four out of five. Jack Ramsey. We thought we were going to do it, and nothing could stand in our way. Good direction from the coach. And I think that's what it takes to become a champion, and this team had it. It had the, the skill, had the willingness of the players to blend their talents into a, a strong, cohesive force and it had the proper direction at the top from the coach. This was something that we had, we and the Philadelphia fans had been looking for uh, for all of these years, the chance to dethrone that team. We had really destroyed a dynasty and we did not only defeat a great basketball team, but we destroyed a tradition. Irv Kozlov describes his first dousing. I was called to be turning aside and from three or four sides, bottles of champagne poured all over my head, all over my suit, all over my clothes, and finally ran down into my shoes. I emptied one shoe and actually champagne poured out of the shoe. <laughs> the suit I put aside when I got home and didn't have it clean for about a month, but I just enjoyed that wine, fermented odor, and uh, it just carried me back to that night, many nights thereafter.